And behaviorism was a movement that rejected this idea that there is this distinction between intelligent behavior and behavior that just looks intelligent, but isn't really intelligent. The idea mm. was that we could analyze. That's really interesting. So the idea was that we could analyze all these mental notions like thinking and reasoning in terms of their behavior. And I think that gets lost when people talk about the Turing test today, because people are assuming that it's still a, a valid test when our underlying thinking about the relationship between intelligence and behavior has changed. Yeah, that's super interesting. So behaviorism is just the view that there aren't something like these internal mental states because those aren't scientifically verifiable or something along those lines. You can't measure mental states. So since it's not on the scientific up and up, it's not measurable. We can't observe it. it. must not be real. So it must be the case that being intelligent just is exhibiting certain kinds of behavior that we would count as intelligent. So that's super interesting. And that's why the Turing test got traction because... They didn't make use of the distinction between seemingly intelligent and exhibiting intelligent behavior because they were in the grips of behaviorism. That doesn't show that, from my lights, that the Turing test isn't stupid. It just shows that it was based on a stupid theory. And maybe we don't blame Turing for it, for adopting the sort of stupid theory that was in vogue during his time. But that, that at least explains 